My name is Richard Paxman, CEO of Paxman Coolers Limited. Paxman was established in 1997, so we are known as the world's leading expert and manufacturer of scalp cooling equipment. We have over 2,000 systems in the world, 900 of those being in the United Kingdom. Scalp cooling is becoming a standard treatment practice within the UK, with 80% of all private and NHS hospitals adopting the technology. An important step for the business is the biological work we're doing. So this is really understanding more about the mechanisms behind chemotherapy-induced alopecia, but also scalp cooling and those working together. If we can understand these mechanisms better, we're then able to improve our results, improve efficacy, and that will be a huge benefit for the patient, but also for the business growth. My name is Dr. Nick Georgopoulos. I'm one of the biology lecturers at the University of Huddersfield. When it comes to how scalp cooling works, it works as a principle, uh, several hypotheses have been suggested. No one knows exactly how it works, uh, but there are various uh, potential hypotheses that have been suggested. One way that uh, we believe it works by is by, by inducing vasoconstriction, um, reducing the size of the blood vessels. As a result of that, uh, when the chemotherapy drugs are in the bloodstream, because of vasoconstriction in the scalp area, less drug is believed to go to the actual hair follicles, which is where the toxicity takes place and hair loss as a result occurs. The uh, other thought is that the membranes of the cells in the hair follicles are the ones that are actually potentially going to be damaged by the chemotherapy drugs, are less permeable to drugs when they're cool, so uh, less drug gets into those cells. Also, it could be uh, that the cell's metabolism slows down, and particularly the rate that they divide. And that will mean, because the, um, most of the chemotherapy drugs target rapidly dividing cells, if you, can, if you can slow that process down, then they'll be less toxic. So it could be one of these mechanisms, but we believe it could be a combination of these mechanisms. Once they start treatment and they're using scalp cooling, they realise they're not going to get total alopecia and they be, they're growing confidence in how the treatment's progressing, how the family are dealing with them. And it's just one, one of their main concerns is, is removed. So I see this sort of confidence that develops during their treatment when, when the scalp cooling's working. Um, I went to my cousin's wedding, and that, which I was bridesmaid for, just as treatment had finished and I was obviously in all the bridesmaids pictures and um, you know I wouldn't have done that if I'd lost my hair I wouldn't have wanted to be I wouldn't have wanted her or myself to have that constant reminder on her special day that I was a victim of cancer at the time it, they hear you're suffering from cancer they expect to see you looking drawn and terrible and bluntly bald and when they see you with a full head of hair looking fairly robust they think, my God, you're not suffering at all. So it's great that I can walk into a room with no sense of disability whatsoever. I'm just normal. And that's massive because, you know, I'm going under, undergoing cancer, treatment for cancer. You never know it's going to, what's going to happen. But for me, I'm just one a normal guy now. Psychologically, um, for me, it was really important both times. Um, first time when I had the breast cancer, it meant I could go out and work and nobody um, needed to know that I wasn't well. I have wonderful clients and, so, and key people in my client companies uh, knew and understood that I was going through treatment, but many of the people who I went out and trained had no idea at all. Um, although subsequently I've, I've actually talk, talked about it because I make a point, point of telling people, um, I, I think uh, cancer and the treatment of cancer and understanding that in this day and age we're incredibly fortunate um, in relation to what the medical profession can do and Paxman scalp coolers um, enabling people to continue to live life to the full at a time when you, you're not fe feeling your best. Reassuring. Confidence. Innovation. Reinsurance. Uh, it saved me my dignity. Um, fantastic, awesome and brilliant. Um, and that spells fab. <laughs> the University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.